Video tour of the Ontario College of Teachers. Welcome to the one and only self-regulatory body for teachers in Canada, the Ontario College of Teachers. The college represents over 230,000 members working in Ontario, a community of professionals with specialized knowledge and skills with a love for learning and teaching. My name is Michael Salvatore, Registrar and CEO of the Ontario College of Teachers, and I'm delighted to welcome you to our home at 101 Bloor Street West in Toronto. Please join us for a brief tour of the college. You'll see how we support teaching excellence in Ontario in order to serve and protect the public interest. We hope this tour will help you understand what the college does for you. Every day across the province, teachers help a child write his name for the first time. They attend to the unique talent of a teenage artist. They help students face and overcome challenges. What does it mean to be a teacher in Ontario? It means to be a role model for children and teenagers and meet the expectations of parents and the public. The college was established in 1997 to allow teachers to regulate and govern their own profession in the public interest, your interest. Teachers who want to work in publicly funded schools in Ontario must be certified to teach in the province and be members of the college. Each of these teachers becomes an OCT, an Ontario Certified Teacher, the professional designation of Ontario teachers. The OCT designation protects the public interest in public education. It's a statement of accountability. It recognizes teachers as professionals who possess a specific knowledge base and a distinct skill set. A council of 37 members governs the college. 23 are members of the college elected by their peers. 14 members are appointed by the Ontario government. Together, they exercise their governance role by making high-level policy decisions that guide the work of the college. Whether developing standards of practice, providing professional advice, or hosting annual meetings with members, we consult with our members and education partners. For us, this is an integral part of addressing the issues that our members face. Officials from around the globe, from government agencies, consulates, and international organizations, visit us. They do so because they want to draw on our expertise in teacher certification, international credentials and assessment, and teacher training, and because they want to share their expertise with us. The men and women who work at the college come from various backgrounds. Many are members of the profession who bring their classroom, school board, and provincial experiences to the college. Together, they work to ensure that the teaching profession is fully accountable to the public we serve. They are deeply committed to supporting the teaching profession and they do so every day through the expertise and integrity they bring to their work. The college operates in an open and accountable manner to promote public trust and confidence in the teaching profession. The college council meetings are open to the public, as are the disciplinary hearings. If you can't attend, you can follow the business of the college on our website or in our magazine. The college offers its members and the public copies of discipline committee decisions and a wide range of educational resources on our website, in our magazine, and through the Margaret Wilson Library, where members can access a collection of more than 8,000 books, videos, DVDs, and professional journals in English and French. Members who can't make it to the college can browse our full catalog online and request materials. The college's state-of-the-art contact center handles a wide range of requests. You want to find a teacher? We keep a public register of all certified members that you can visit at any time on our website. Respect is at the heart of the college's mandate. Respect for students. Respect for the parents and the public. Respect for each other. Respect always for quality teaching and learning.